This is a parade of broken promises. Everyone here has a story to tell. This small group represents private daycare centers. They were promised government money if they took in children whose parents couldn't pay. To promise free benefits to parents, members of society, families and entrepreneurs that cannot be met is one more lie in this orchestrated masterpiece of deceit. Pensioners have already seen their benefits cut a dozen times. When we applied for our pensions, we did so under certain legislation, so we're entitled to receive that amount of money. Syriza came to power a year ago to end austerity. Now it is the enforcer of austerity. It says its $93 billion loan will be Greece's last bailout. But the proposed overhaul of Social Security, which is a key condition for that loan, was the spark for this unrest. This general strike has broad support from the urban middle class and the countryside, particularly self-employed professionals and farmers. It is they who comprise the one million taxpayers who would be called upon to pay 27% of their income for health coverage and pension contributions, effectively doubling their taxation. The head of the Athens Bar Association says a lawyer earning $22,000 now spends 54% of that income on taxes and social security. Under the proposed law, it would rise to 69%. All these tax demands won't be met. The result will be that a very large number of freelance professionals will simply leave the economy. They'll enter a grey zone and won't pay taxes and social security because there won't be any choice. The whole system will collapse because it's not realistic. It doesn't take into account people's ability to pay. Widespread tax evasion would obviously undermine the very purpose of the law, which is to increase the government's revenue. So Syriza might end up following a well-trodden path, squeezing more money from a smaller economy. John Saropoulos, Al Jazeera, Athens.